This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Well, we've gone through and introduced CAPM. We've gone through and calculated the return that CAPM gives us. And we're just going to advance things on ever so slightly now and begin to use CAPM in our project appraisal. And the reason why we can use CAPM in our project appraisal is because we said right at the start that we were thinking about an all equity finance business, so an ungeared business with regards to finance risk. As soon as we start introducing gearing, we, we have to change the way in which we think about calculating the return, but that's off the syllabus. The focus is looking at the business risk and looking at the specific business risk, the systematic business risk. And remember, we've diversified away the specific business risk, so we are only faced with the systematic business risk. We need a return for that systematic business risk, assuming that we are well diversified. And we've said that in order to calculate that return for a well diversified shareholder for an ungeared company, then we can go through there and calculate CAPM. CAPM is the return. The return we could then use to work out a discount factor. And then that discount factor can be used and applied to cash flows to work out the MPV of a particular project, okay? Makes sense, doesn't it? Because if you're managing a business, you know the level of return that you can generate within your business. That return is what is required by the equity holders and therefore we can use that to give them their return in project appraisal. Yeah, excellent. So if we look at the example that we've got there about CAPM and investment appraisal, uh, it says estimate the minimum return that T will require from the project. So the return that they require. How do we work out a return? Cap M. Uh, and assess whether or not the project is worthwhile. We assess the worth of a project using investment appraisal. We can use MPV, IRR, ARR or payback going back to the glory days. It's all about MPV, okay? If it's a positive MPV project, we accept it, don't we? Okay, so what have we got? Uh, it says TPLC is all equity finance, so there is no finance risk within this business. Uh, therefore, all the risk is business risk, and therefore we can use CAPM, okay? Uh, it wishes to invest in a project with an estimate beta, or an estimated beta of 1.4, which is significantly different from the business characteristics of T's current operation. So when we're appraising the new project, uh, we need to use the risk of the new project, okay, to reflect how that project is going to change the risk within the business. It's going to be 1.4, okay. Uh, the project requires an outlay of 100,000, so that's going to be the, isn't it, at T0, which generates returns of $15,000 per annum in perpetuity. So that's there, is it, from T1 to infinity. Uh, the market return, RM is 11. RF is there as 6%. Okay. So let's go through there and have a play around with that. Uh, to work out the return, uh, we take our risk-free rate, is it 6%? We then add on beta 1.4 multiplied by the difference between RM and RF. Uh, 11 less 6, last time I checked, was there, was it 5? Five? 5 times 1.4 is there as 7. And 7 plus 6 is there, is it? As 13, isn't it? Okay, so your risk premium is 5%. Uh, 5 times 1.4 is 7. Um, add the 6 is that's 13, isn't it? Okay, excellent. Uh, if we then wanted to go through that and work out, is it the MPV? Uh, well, the investment is there, is it as 100,000? at T0, uh, we then add on the present value of those cash flows to perpetuity. So is that 15,000 divided by 0.13? Remember, when you're looking there, 
at a perpetuity factor from 1 to infinity. That's just 1 over the discount rate, isn't it? So 15,000 divided by 0.13 less 100,000 gives me there. Is it 15? Three, eight, five. Okay. Uh, so to answer the question, the return is thirteen percent. Assess whether or not the project is worthwhile. I think the answer there is clearly yes. Why? Because it is a positive MPV project and therefore increases the wealth of the shareholders. Okay. So that just begins to to introduce the fact that you might have to work out a capital asset pricing model return. For an all equity finance business and then use that to go through there and appraise a project using mpv techniques pretty simple isn't it okay questions will get much harder they'll get more challenging within the example let's just keep it simple and then you can build up your knowledge as you go along other than that that's it for now from capm and investment appraisal